Hey guys, what's up? It's AB Trades, and today I wanted to go over a video of the top three methods, strategies, slash patterns that I use to make money in the stock market. Again, there are a bajillion different ways to make money um, and different strategies that you can use, but these are the three most pop the popular ones that, that I use for myself, and I know that a lot of other experienced traders also use for, for themselves as well. Um, so the three patterns uh, will, will be um, the triangle, the triangle pattern, the horizontal pattern and the continuation pattern. So to start off, we're going to go over the triangle pattern. So I'm going to use examples from the most recent periods that I could find in stocks. Um, so the first one that popped into me for a tri for a triangle pattern was te was Tesla on Thursday. Um, as you can see here. Uh, we had this huge move in the pre-market because of earnings, okay, and then we run up and we're kind of consolidating into the small corner. Then in the morning we open, we drop, and we start to consolidate within a triangle, okay. Now again, the triangle pa pattern is so strong because big name blue chip stocks um, that have a lot, a lot of volume, especially a lot of attention from the previous day, are rarely ever going to stay within the same small little price price range here. So you see that the price is starting to consolidate in, in, in between one area in between it looks like 331 and 327. Okay, that is a small range for something to be stuck in. So it will explode some way. And you can also see VWAP is pushing through the middle. When VWAP is pushing through the middle, you know something's go going to happen. There's going to be a break um, out either to the upside or to the downside. Now with a triangle, it's more times than not a continuation pattern, meaning that if you have an uptrend and you consolidate in, 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 in a triangle, more more times than not, it's going to break out to the upside, um, and the same thing with downside. So, sorry, all my notes are on my phone of examples. Um, another example would be BA. Um, so, if you can see here in the morning, we had a nice little push up. We broke through V. VWAP and started trending down. Okay, so as you can see here in the, in the morning, uh, we had a little gap gap down. We pushed up to test the pre-market highs or the pre-market levels here, right? And then of course we couldn't, so we start downtrending. So this is where the tri the triangle pattern comes into more of a continuation play. We're pushing down. We consolidate into a small price 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 range. This is known as the descending triangle because um, we have it pushing up against the same resistance level um, and then it's slowly uptrending. So we're slowly uptrending um, but we're pushing up against this level here with the continuation um, and then the EMA and then we push down. So that is um, one top, top, top pattern I, I look for. Why? Um, for a few reasons. Uh, it's a continuation pattern. I don't have to um, be on um, first thing in the morning watching to see this pattern. This pattern happens in between the best times, in, in between 9.30 and um, around 1.30. Uh, that is again for my mar market time, a central standard time, um, because usually um, the stock market needs to set up, find a find which way it's, it's going, consolidate a bit, and then shoot up. So which means I have time to catch a, a, tri a, a, a triangle pattern. Um, also, you usually know the expect the expected move based on the base of the tri triangle. So, based off here, my expect my expected move would be down to about here, um, which would have been fine. Um, also, you have amazing risk to reward. So, let's say you take the trade here for a put, which means you're going to make money on the way down, um, and it goes up to here. Then easy, you stop out for a small loss. Um, but if not, you let it run, so you know where your stop is. Okay, so our next pattern it will be the horizontal, the horizontal pattern. Um, again, um, all these things that I'm mentioning works well on a longer time frame, like a daily or a four a four hour chart. But um, for this, I'm focusing on the uh, the intraday trading. So on Baba here. Um, on Tuesday, we made a low. So of course, a low. Um, or intraday is going to mention that we're going to draw a line to see if it crosses below or um, that line or not. And we also made a high here. So that's what we're we're, we're we are looking for going into the, to the next day. This is a horizontal pattern. So then in the uh, Wednesday morning, no, uh, this is Tuesday after market, we push up to this previous re resistance level here and we get rejected, which means we went up, we tried to test to break above. Of course, it was during pre-market, pre no volume was there, so there was nothing to push it over. And then we started dropping back again. Now, Wednesday, a pre-market, we came down here 
and um, we were te we were testing the support level, okay? And um, even though we dropped below, uh, vol vol volume here picked up, and when volume picks up and pre-market, you know that's, that that is a valid support level because usually there's no volume and after or pre-market. So when you see volume bars and you see a little reversal, you know that that's support or re resistance level is very valid. So um, we started bouncing off here, so you could have play to call because you know this is a hor hor horizontal pattern here playing in between this um, and we bounced off here and then when we came up here so two two things why I like this pattern you know when to get in you, you know to wait for a bounce if you get in here then this is your stop and then this is your target so you know where you're stopping out beforehand and you know where, you, where you're going to take profit um, and also if we're doing the same thing with a put we see here we go up we start to get reject we rejected here we buy a put we stop out here and our target is all the way down here so that's something uh, just uh, to mention for the hor horizontal pattern now another pat pattern that we've been seeing a lot of in the stock market recently is uh, what I call the well I mean again it's not my pattern I, I learned it from SMB cap capital which is a proprietary trading firm uh, based out of New York and um, they, they I don't know what what they call it, but I call it the 10% rule um, even though it's not a rule but first example that I'm gonna show you of it is Netflix um, where's Netflix okay so if I go back here uh, of last Friday so Thursday Friday uh, right here um, okay so basically how this 10% uh, thing works is when you have a huge trending trending day where the market or stock trends in one di direction like it trends the whole day up or it trends the whole day down so for example Netflix it started here and it trended base basically the whole day down okay and then it closed on the bottom 10% of the range okay so when you close on the bottom part of your range, um, so let's see, bah, bah, okay, so right, this is my range for the day. The range here was about 4.25%, okay, so 4.25%, um, yes, 1%, one, one okay, that's close to the bottom, 10% 10, 10 of the range. We are closing at the bottom. What that usually means on, okay, most case, cases, again, no trading strategy is perfect, but when something closes on the bottom range, when it was trending down, or by vice versa, if it's trending up and it closes near the top, then it will most like it will most likely go up the next day. But in this instance, for Netflix, we trended down, we closed in the bottom portion of, of the range, and then we saw the continuation of that drop the next day. Um, let's go to Facebook. Um, let's see, that's again a support and res resistance play because we know that there's support there. We have blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't need to men mention all that because you'll see it in, in the future. Um, here we go, it's the same thing. So Facebook, uh, we seem to have trended down and then we closed in the bottom portion of the range. Um, this is not on the very bottom portion. Uh, I would have liked to see it close around here. But again, that doesn't really matter because yes, we close on the bottom portion and also we close below a support level which means this will act as a new re resistance which is what we saw the whole pre-market and after market of Friday and Monday um, we saw it just getting rejected at this re resistance level and then it showed the continuation down um, the most uh, now we're going to go to Apple to show one last uh, example of this um, so obviously Apple had its earnings um, and whatnot it did great um, so we Trend, we trend, we trended up, right? We um, had this huge spike up from from earnings. Um, we just stair, stair, staircased up a bit, and we closed within the very top portion of the range. Um, that is indicative that the next day it will continue. So, did it uh, stop off and did it drop below? Yes, it did drop down. It, does, it doesn't go straight up. But you have to understand that there are a lot of traders who don't have access to trading during pre-market and after-market, or they don't even see the pre-market and after-market movement. So if they see it closing in the very top percent of the range, uh, and then they see it o open around that same price range, they're just going to think of it going to continue. You have to, th to think about the psychological aspect of trading as well and what all the other traders are thinking. But so, um, again, 
again, that, that would have been a resistance level. Um, and as you see, this is going to be a continuation, most likely. Um, and then after we bounce and we show some support here and we break through this, it's just a clear indication of the continuation upward. Again, the three, pa the three day trading patterns that I focus on is the horizontal pattern, the 10% or continuation pattern, <clears throat> and, tri uh, and triangle pa patterns. Again, I hope y'all enjoyed this and learned something from it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video.